Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. Climbing down to the bottom floor here, hopefully. Oh yeah, so I'm still in like a like a back behind the walls access tunnel sort of thing, so I'm still hidden from the bad guys. Oh, and I'm gonna have to break through a wall here. Well, that's gonna attract a ton of attention. I don't know that I wanna do that right here. Seems like a bad idea. It does. It does seem like a bad idea, doesn't it? Because look, there's a million guys right there. And they're going to all come running when I break the wall, so... Let's not. Let's go find that other vent. I know where it was. I'm going to run over here so it, my noise doesn't attract anyone from down below. It's up here. Let's use this vent. Wait, oh damn, this vent's useless to me. This just leads back to the same room I was just in. Well, there has to be some better way to Well, all right, fine then. I'll just go down the I'll just go down through the parking structure here. Yeah, I guess I'll just go this way. Fuck, 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 fuck. Good thing that guy can't see very far. So there's him, and there's and there's that guy on the chair right there. In this immediate area. Well, they shouldn't be too hard to sneak up on and deal with, I would imagine. I'm gonna go sneaky, sneaky to this cover. Okay, so here we are. We have these two guys. Hmm. interesting. I think I'm going to have to take this guy in the chair out first. As soon as he starts wandering back over the other way. And then, what I'm gonna do... is trank him. Yeah, that worked. Before he has a chance to turn around and get bajiggity. Alright, harvester's knocked out. There's still a million guys on this floor, of course. I don't know if I can even... Oh, so here's a door. We'll see where that leads in a minute. Combat rifle ammo, right. This guy's knocked out. Trank Dart will take his credits, though. Customers only. Alright, so lots of lots of action. Oh, there's another door right there, too. Okay.
Oh, and I can just go right through here. This is not a, a, like a wall. Uh, okay, well, tons of guys over there, which is obviously, you know, where I need to go. But I'm going to check out this side first. And then, yeah, what I'm looking for is down that way, huh? Okay. Interesting. Oh, and the sewer entrance took brought me in, like, over here somewhere. So the sewer entrance was really the way. If you wanted to bypass as much stuff as possible and, like, get straight to the goal as sneaky as you could, coming in through the sewer was probably the best option. Okay, what's over here? Hey, wait a minute. This is looking like it's leading to the sewers. Or like it is the, you know, this looks like the sewers all of a sudden. Ah, this is the way in from the sewers, so maybe I was wrong about where the sewer entrance led in. Obviously I was, right? Because this is the sewer entrance right here. Alright, well, found the sewer entrance. I'm going to go a little more quietly over here. Here's a wall I can smash through. Another one. I'm going to shut this door. Block a little sound. And then... I guess I'll, ch I'll check out smashing through this wall. Just to see what's on the other side of it. Some Explorer XP, if nothing else. Um, just be nice and quiet here. Another wall I can smash through. Of course, it's probably not a good idea with guys everywhere. <laughs> another wall I can smash through with a guy standing right on the other side of it so I could smash through that and take that guy out if I want to but then oh and he walks away but then there's another guy right over there and uh, just a ton of dudes where am I you are here okay so I'm up here Interesting. I kind of want to snap through a wall and break a guy's neck. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he's a heavy too, isn't he? I'm going to quick save. I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. How you like that? Oh, nobody's even alerted, huh? Well, that's good. Let's bring him back here. Pocket secretary. New safe code. You shining at Mayday to you, Tao. Mayday. Tao, way ahead of you. The new lock has been installed in the code of 7920. He had written, Bro, did you get the new lock for the safe? The sooner it is installed, the better. I don't want some scumbag to walk off with our retirement fund. All right. So, oh, see, this is like a side room, so there was no. I didn't have to worry about line of sight to this guy anyway. Okay, well that's good. Ah, uh, so this is a medical room. Ooh, this is like a dirty chop shop where they've been doing. Oh, this is probably where they're taking the augs out of people and may oh god these augs are like they're still like attached to like a bloody meat and stuff <laughs> oh god some painkillers uh an ebook cool let's um let's read that scholar 200 xp understanding vision part two Excerpt from a lecture given by Hugh Darrow at Harvard University in August 2008. Today's retinal implants are designed to partially restore useful vision to people who have lost their sight due to degenerative eye conditions. 
The device consists of an electrode array attached to the eye's retina, a digital camera worn on the user's body, usually attached to a pair of glasses, and a transmitter and receiver that converts images to electrical impulses. These impulses are then transmitted by radio frequency to the electrode array. At the moment, there are two types of retinal implants available. Eparetinal implants and subretinal implants. The only difference between the two is at what point the electrode array stimulates the cells that would attach to photoreceptors. The signal transmitted travels to the optic nerve and then to the brain, allowing for the perception of sight. However, the vision a person receives from these implants is very rudimentary. He or she may be able to see an image similar to a scoreboard made up of large lights, or detect something from a light, detect something come from light that is only an arm's length away. In other words, today's retinal implant gives the patient very limited vision. For the person who is going blind, it's a very good option for retaining some sense of vision. Still, we at Darrow Industries intend to improve it. And indeed, they did. Quite dramatically. So that's kind of the, that's like the state of the retinal implant technology that we have today, basically. Not, you know, not, not very good, but they're starting to go there. They're st Man, look at all the blood on the floor and like boot tracks in the blood and stuff. Yeah, this is where they've brought people to chop the typhoon ammo, to chop the uh, augs out of them. And I don't know if they're implanting them into their own guys in here. Probably not. This is probably just a removal only clinic because it looks so dirty and, and horrible. I don't think they'd want to operate on their own guys in here like this. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be hogged in this particular room, this room of horrors. Okay. And there's nothing else in here that I'm interested in. So now that I've done that, uh, I can look through this door. Some guys move it around open this up. So what do we have? We've got a bunch of guys sitting in chairs and stuff. So it looks like if I smashed that other wall that I would just be in like a side room of some sort. It could be worth doing. Here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to come out here and have a better look at this room. So, we have four guys here, it looks like. One over there, this one roaming around, and two sitting on the, on the couches and chairs and stuff. So in other words, a pretty difficult situation to deal with without starting at the far end at least and taking that guy out first. So what else is going on here? Are these like cells? <gasps> oh yeah. It's like holding cells for the people that they've that they've kidnapped and they're gonna, you know cut the augs out of or, or whatever. Okay. Well, that's all the time I have for this video. So, thank you for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.